Hi there, and welcome to Balancey, the best platform to add live ops to a game. I'm going to briefly tell you about the Balancey features, and if you need detailed information, please find the link to the documentation in the description for this video. Let's start with A-B testing, the most common feature. You can run a new experiment right on our platform. There is no need to involve your engineering team as long as they did the initial integration before. For each A-B test, you can select the size of the audience you want to cover and the type of the users – new, old or everyone. Add as many groups in the test as you need. You can also filter the audience for the experiment using our condition system. For example, you can launch the test only for the specific segment of players, once a player reaches level 10, or between specific dates. Once A-B test is active, you can use it to override any parameter stored in Balancey. You can use it in the conditions and visual scripting, which we will cover later. Balancey automatically collects the most important metrics so you can see which groups performs the best. Once you collected enough data, you should stop the test. Let's take a look at the segmentation. A segment is a group of users united by certain conditions. In segmentation, we use the same condition system as A-B test and any other balancing features. It's a very powerful system, which has a lot of built-in filters like language, aversion, platform, revenue, ads, and so on. You can also add any custom properties you need. Balancy provides a bunch of segments for RFM analysis to start from. You can customize the segments we provide or create your own. This is how you can easily create a segment of users with level 10 or higher. Once a segment is created, you can target special offers and game events to them. Now let me show you how you can set up game offers and items. Open the item section to see the list of all the items your game has. Each item has several parameters – icon, name and max stack. By the way, you can also import this list from spreadsheets. Bear in mind, depending on your game, you can easily add new parameters to balance the building structure. And let me show you how to do that. Open the template you want to change and click Add Parameter. Balancey supports all types of parameters you might need. I'll add description field for my items for the demonstration. Go back to items list and find the new column that appeared. The next section I want to show you is store items. This is where you define what players can purchase. Each store item has many parameters. Besides of basic parameters sprite and name, it has price, which can be virtual or in hard currency, and the reward parameter, where you set the list of items the player gets after the purchase. The most interesting part is game offer section. This is where you set up your special offers, which will probably generate the most revenue for your game. As usual, there are plenty of parameters, and one of them is duration. The limitation makes special offers much more attractive. I showed you everything you need to set up what you are selling, and next we'll figure out when we are going to sell your items. Open the Game Events section. A game event is usually a limited time activity which changes the game in some way. Good examples of such activities are Halloween, New Year's Eve, Black Friday, or just every weekend. Using conditions, you can define when the activity starts and what segment of players will see it. Game events can also be used for onboarding, tutorials or selling starter packs. Whenever a game event starts, it launches the attached script. Balancy visual scripting is super powerful and very easy to learn. If you're familiar with Unreal Blueprints or any other visual scripting tools, it's basically the same. In visual scripting, you can create any kind of logic. As an example, let me describe you what Starter Pack script does. The script starts by checking the A-B test group of the user. Depending on the group, the script sets a local variable value to 5 or 10. The variable is called level. Then the script waits until the user reaches the specific level. Once the level is reached, the script activates a Starter Pack offer. It's a very simple but commonly used script. Once you master it, you can start implementing retargeting and dynamic discounts. As a very nice bonus, we have Calendar. 
which is being automatically generated from your game activities. You can preview what was happening in the game in the past and what is scheduled for the future to make sure your players are getting enough fun. You can also add or change activities right in the calendar. Once you are ready to publish your work, open Deploy section, where you can double check all the recent changes made and deploy the data if everything is correct. Balancer will also check the consistency of your game balance, not letting any broken links or any other human mistakes to ruin the balance. Balancer has three built-in environments. You will be developing new features in the dev environment, Stage is used for testing pre-production builds, and the prod environment is where your real users are playing. So you can work in a safe environment and don't be afraid of breaking a game for your players. Balancy connects to the game through our SDK, which you can find in the documentation. Balancy has code generation feature, which makes our integration super easy and delivers all of the game content automatically. Balancy uses JSONs under the hood, but your team can forget such work because of our automation. Game designers work with a convenient UI, while engineers work with after-generated and after-mapped classes. Good luck with your projects! and stay tuned.